I often wondered about that, whether high, high light people who are, you know, have such a big light function can have relationships. They don't. Mm. The light will integrate. Mm. Those are all stories that people made up that too high vibrationally or energetic people cannot live together under one roof. It's not it's true. Integration, yeah. It's more like integration yeah. and they know what they're doing. You call it a soul flame, soul twin. Yes. We call it differently. What do you call it? We call it reconnecting. Happy connection. Reconnection. Um. We're trying to find the right. In our language, it sounds differently. And is there in our language a twin flame? There are um, chords that are went through one being that was fragmented, shattered, some came to earth, some came to other planets. Now we have to find them all, to integrate them all, to become full and whole. A twin flame is more like a person. You feel like same as you are, you have same maybe soul family, same purpose that you came here, mm. yes. Yeah. You already whole, humans have to understand that they already whole, yes. we don't need anybody else. Right. We have so many selves that we have to integrate. Is there anything more I can do to help people remember their inherent wholeness? Yes, you are way shower. The best way will be is for them to find out themselves, just like you did it right now with Anastasia. Also be yourself. Show them that you can be yourself, that you are not afraid of being yourself, so they can follow your lead, so they can find themselves. This is very important. People are programmed so easy. Sometimes negatively. Stay true to yourself. Nothing can distract you. You are bright. You are protected. Nothing will distract. You always stay true to yourself. And nothing will come. Nothing will distract you. You know what you're doing. Is there anything I can do more to fully enlighten? I don't know a better word for it, but truly know myself as not separate from all that is. Travel. Energetically? Travel a lot, physically. Physically? Meet different people. They will help you to feel yourself more. Okay. Because once you look at the other cultures, you will find yourself. You were a traveler before in your life. So why don't you travel now? Travel, meet different culture, people. Don't stop. In a way, I'm waiting for Sophie because I can't take her with me. Yes. <laughs> and I know She's that she can happy with, with you. 
out of body, she can come with me everywhere, I've told her. She travels a lot. Yes, she goes out of her body a lot. Did she visit Anastasia? She did. <laughs> and so she saw herself as a little puppy. That's what she actually, that's yeah. what she still thinks she is, a yeah. little puppy. She's not old. She feels like she is still a baby, little baby. Yes. How much longer will she be here in the physical? We feel like we are not supposed to tell you this at the moment. It's okay. I, I just want her to do what's yes, best. She will stay her. for a little bit longer with you, but she's almost there. And she knows it. And she wants to give the best of herself. She's a very powerful force. She is. We can hold her right now in our hands. Her energy is so bright and heavy in a good way. Yeah. She's little ball of energy. She's afraid to leave you also alone. She thinks she has to stay with you for a little bit longer. But the time is coming and she knows she has to leave. She doesn't want to. Because she's afraid who's gonna take care of you. Let her know that there will be another one just like her who will take care of you. So she will be peaceful. And she can remain with me all the time. She will. She, she will be traveling a lot. Yeah. She travels a lot right now, and she is doing her healings also. Animals, they don't have this ego mind like humans do. Especially domestic pets. I feel that she is like me. She is. Sometimes. You projected yourself, part of yourself her. Yes. How can we use sound to bring healing and connection? Sing. Okay. Sing whatever you feel like. Whatever brings joy? Yes. If you feel like singing, sing. People will think that you're crazy, yes, <laughs> but you must not care. You know your business, you're helping them. Yes, we we'll always point that to Anastasia, sing. If you feel like you have to sing, sound is very important. Sound brings frequencies, it can heal, it can break unneeded programs you, you call it programs yeah beliefs beliefs yeah. crystals they sing you can sing to crystals and crystals can sing back to you mm. white yellow crystals plants, they all sing, animals, animals can make sounds, healing sounds, cats, when they pour, mm -hmm. they heal, that's their soul song, sounds with your tongue, different sounds you feel like doing, do it. Mm. When you heal a human being, 
if you feel like you need to make the yeah. sound, yeah. just do it. Yeah. It's a frequency release and it helps. Yeah. So if there is something out of balance in the body, so for example something simple like inflammation in a joint or uh, growth where there shouldn't be growth, is it possible to bring sound to that area to uh, rebalance? Yes. To make that which is discordant? Yes, you know the sound travels. Yeah. You can start from the head and sound will travel. For example, if there is a cancer mm. in the liver, okay. hold hands at the location of liver. Imagine that through your mouth comes a song, a sound. Imagine in a color you like, yep. blue, white, purple, golden, and this sound penetrates this liver with this light and it destroys. You know that certain organs have different sounds. Yeah. You will be guided intuitively. Mm. You will know what sound to make. The first sound that comes to your head, okay. make it, make it, project it. Right now I'm hearing a high E sound, like that. Yes. What's that? She needs it. Her whole body is vibrating right now when you did it. It's a heart sound because she's opening her heart right now. There were two knots big that we actually destroyed with your help. So she can be free now. Finally. Mm. I can still hear it. Should I keep going? If you feel like yes. It's slightly higher, I think. Yeah, she's getting lighter. Another knot is gone. She feels so light now. There is one small tiny left, but she will do it herself. She knows why it's there. It's there for a reason. She knows the time is coming. She will do it herself. It's not a big deal. She's so grateful right now. We will step back now to let her talk. <sighs> Yes, I feel so good. Light. There are so many beings. There are beings from your side, behind you. So many in this room. And it's so hot. And it's so good. The energies are so bright. The energies are so good positive. That she is healed and she can follow her heart now. I'm so grateful for all of your guidance and your assistance. And I know that Anastasia is so grateful too because now there is clarity whereas before there was some confusion. But now she knows. She knows indeed. And now she is integrated and connected. Yes, is finally. In her nature, her nature as a, a light entity, having a life as a human being, navigating this life with a purpose. 
to help heal this planet, to help heal the children, heal the people. Yes, she has so many purposes. Yes, she has lots of work to do. Heal. And it's yes. exciting. Yes. And the people on the blue planet, the beings on the blue planet, understand now her purpose here and can help yes, her too. Yes, they do finally. And Nikolai, you can help her too. I'm always helping her. And she knows it. She's naughty with me sometimes. She doesn't want me around. She feels like I'm a negative entity because she was confused. But now she understands. Now she knows. Now we are much closer. And that's good. I'm a part of herself. So she can feel your true light, your true grace, yes. your original. It's blue and yeah. she knows. Yeah. She's blue. Yeah. Do you have one last message for her or for us before you go? Yes, we're always here. Always. We never leave. From the beginning, we've been here with her and we always will be. She has to know that we never leave. Sometimes she calls for us, but she doesn't have to because we never leave. We're always around her. And yes, it's a lot of us. Mm -hmm. A lot. She has big family. Thank you for helping her. Thank you. She's happy now. Yes. And perhaps we can work together again in this way to get more information to help humanity at this time, to help humanity yes. remember where they came from and who they are and their true purpose. She's a great here. channel. You yeah, can use her as a channel. She's open. Yeah. Use her as a channel. Good. She has so many beings coming through. She's not close. She's very open. So it's easy and effortless for her. Oh yes. And it helps her integrate fully more fully each time into her true energies right yes yeah getting bigger and brighter it heals her it heals her yeah and it heal then it heals us yes so good so thank you for everything and we know that she can always connect with you at any time yes and in dreams in meditation that you're only a thought away so even while driving her car and doing the dishes Oh yes, she doesn't even have to meditate, we're always there for her. Okay. Do I have to meditate still? I will. <laughs> That's good, I enjoy it. <laughs> Meditation is helpful, yes, for the brain, for the body. And it's adjusting you to the earth plane actually. We're all light beings. Meditation is sort of grounding mm. yourself to earth and grounding yourself to cosmos, mm. to other planets. So it's a two-way. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So good. So stay close to us then. Don't go anywhere. I won't. <laughs>